James Thomas, Morning Blend. I've got Jamie Dennis with me up, today What's from up, the uh, How Are You? <laughs> Good. Good. Complain, and you're with man. the Urban League, right? That's right. Save Our Sons, man. Save Our Sons, Urban League. That's right. Tell us a little bit about Save Our Sons. Save Our Sons, man. Well, it isn't for everyone, but it is for anyone mm -hmm. that's a male that's desiring change in his life as far as economics is concerned. So we take them through the, the first four pillars of employment, which is how to get a job, how to keep a job, how to get promoted, and lastly, how to stay marketable. It's a full week crash course, 20 days, you know, 60 hour commitment. And I liken it to be like the first 30 days when you first get a job. And they hold you to a standard to where you can't be late. You have to uh, communicate. You have to make that proper phone call right. with enough time mm -hmm. to let your supervisor know if anything is going to get in the way of you being on time. So we holding the gentleman to a higher standard, giving them that brotherly love the first week of that program, orientating them to what the resources are that we're going to make available. It's really a holistic program, man. I can just go on and on about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the resources that get poured into the individuals between the ages of 17 and 64 that come through the doors out there in Ferguson and now also in the city, we have a new office. Now, you caught me off guard when you said 17 to 64. That's a wide window. It is a yes, wide sir. window. Mm -hmm. So what percentage would you say would be, would be between 17 and 30? And then what's the other percentage that's at least 30 to... Mm -hmm. Well, I would say the median age will be anywhere from 18 to about 45 mm -hmm. that you're going to see the bulk right. of it, maybe 50 right. to 60 percent of those people. Okay. But then you might get someone that's in their 60s, right. not counting anyone out. Like I said, it's not a cookie cutter program. Right. Therefore, it's something for everyone, uh -huh. you know, that wants to change. So that could look like an older gentleman that perhaps been working somewhere for 40 years uh -huh. and all of a sudden he gets laid off. He hasn't been in the workforce. He hasn't had to apply for a job. So he doesn't know about the right now nuances that affect workplace, you know, and how to apply online and get those uh, brush up skills and actually a network that's already put in place. As you know, the Urban League's been around for over 100 years. Yes, so definitely. through that plethora of networking and corporate, you know, support that we're getting, it's often a time where you can just get back on your feet in a relatively quick process. And we call that the SOS 2.0 fast track process. So, so you talked about Save Our Sons. Let's talk about the new empowerment mm -hmm. center. Mm -hmm. Ferguson. Yes, sir. Well, that was uh, basically birthed out of the unrest uh, in Ferguson, the mm -hmm. untimely demise of Michael Brown. If it wasn't for him, you know, passing away, I feel like there's a lot of people in organizations that wouldn't be around trying to do anything that's mm -hmm. great in that area. And so it's been there a little over a year now, and you should see the turnaround. People tried to question Ferguson and say, was Ferguson just a moment or was it a movement? But I dare to say that it's a, a total movement because you have something very tangible in that community that has actually changed it. So it was a paradigm shift. You see the same individuals that used to hang out in front of the Quick Trip gas station where it used to be, mm -hmm. now those same individuals are coming, inquiring about employment, trying to better themselves, looking for resources. And as we say at the Urban League, we're not handing out any giveaways, right. we're giving an opportunity. Okay. So what are some of the things that happened in the Empowerment Center mm -hmm. besides Save Our Sons? Well, besides Save Our Sons, you have the Salvation Army. They're the 50% partner that we have upstairs. The whole upstairs is a Salvation Army with the Pathway to Hope. Uh, they have Pathway to Health. That's a partnership with Christian hospitals where they're making resources available to where you can avoid that emergency room visit. You know, oftentimes people don't have health insurance. Right. So we're finding, you know, pathways for those people. So it's called Pathway to Hope. They have the Spark Academy. It's geared towards uh, uh, meeting developmental needs of the youth mm -hmm. between the uh, grade levels of uh, third and six. So, you know, they have a very holistic family-oriented programming. Uh, they partner with us. Like, we may have a guy that comes in looking for a job, but he's homeless or uh, he needs bedding or any, any sort of toiletry or anything that might help him with his basic needs. Salvation Army will hand him off. And we're doing, like I said, that holistic approach to solving problems, not just giving them a job, but giving them some skills, giving them some education as well, teaching them how to be financially literate and you know, fiscally responsible to be able to get upper mobility in his life. You guys wouldn't happen to have a gym there, would you? 
<laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yes, it's sir. Coming. Yes, sir. You just acquired some more land, actually. Right. It's just uh, actually uh, south, well, north of the building, mm -hmm. and it's further down West Forest. And so we're going to expand. And we're looking to partner with the Boys and Girls Club that's coming around. So, you know, it, it mm -hmm. takes a total community. And under that leadership of Michael McMillan, I think that we're all tech savvy enough to know that we need to bring it together. <laughs> and as Dr. King said, neither we unite or perish. So that's right. That's, that's where we're at right. today. So other than the new one on West Florence and Ferguson, is there another facility? Yes, there is actually on 1330 Arbor Avenue. That's actually behind the Sears, old Sears building, right. the Roberts Plaza right there in the same strip mall as the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. So they have the same programs that we're offering out there in Ferguson. But actually, there's a different caveat because that new partnership of Better Family Life with Urban League has right. actually come to full fruition right there. So they're actually boots on the ground. They're doing the door to door situation mm -hmm. where the same thing we had to do in Ferguson, they have to do in that troubled rectangle where Chief Hayden is at. And right. they're actually finding out where these people are and, and their needs, meeting some of those needs and going into the living room doing uh, conflict de-escalations. So we're approaching it with the same type of fervor and the same you know, uh, uh, tenacity as we had to do shortly after the Ferguson, you know, unrest that happened in 2014. Yeah, that Ferguson unrest was uh, mm -hmm. something else, wasn't Man, it? Man, it, it was a different world. Yeah, that, totally different, different world. world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've been with Urban League again how long? It's uh, four years now, mm -hmm. going into my fifth. Okay. So since, uh, you know, the Ferguson unrest, man, I'm proud to say that I was the first and the last original member that still left with Save Our Sons. So we have a new team, you know, uh -huh. I always like to uh, highlight those guys, Mr. Desong, Mr. Cage, Mr. Hayden, Mr. Stevens, and our new guy, uh, Mr. Farrakhan Shigog. We even got that young new talent. So, <laughs> you know, Mr. McMillan is constantly trying to, you know, reinvigorate and right. reinvent himself. He's a total renaissance guy, so he got the perfect team and us right now. So how can our viewers <laughs> help save our sons and help out the new center, the Empowerment Center on West Florida and Ferguson? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're a business, we need jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a politician, we need uh, policy change. Mm -hmm. If you are a preacher, we need you to get that word out to your congregation. If you're a brother that's looking for a job, we want you to come through those doors and after you get that job from us, to tell another brother. If you're just a concerned parent, we need you to direct your troubled team mm -hmm. to the Save Our Sons program because it's, it's like it's a, a total fix and I don't say it's a perfect thing, but it's, it's the most urgent thing that's happening right now to these millennials. I think we're actually giving the Urban League a new face, if you will for the new millennium right. and you know because a lot of young people didn't know what the right. early was about. So what's the phone number they can reach you at? They can hit us at 314-528-5200. That's 314-528-5200. You can also hit 615-3600. That's at Grandale, our headquarters, and you can be transferred to our new city location, which is located at 1330 Arbor Avenue. And what's, what's the website? The website is ULSTL.com. All right. Thank you so much for joining Man, us thank today. Thank you for I having me, brother. Yeah, definitely. More power to you, brother. <laughs> I'm a fan of your work. Thank you. Thank yes, you sir. very much. Mm -hmm. Jane Summers, Morning Wind. We need more fans, and we also need to have you participate with Save Our Sons. Please. We'll be right back after this.